was the deal, Ain't man. Ain't shit. Welcome. We just been talking, um, you know, chatting you up, um, talking about how excited we are for tonight. Um, and a lot of people in the chat are saying that they saw you on the Tyler tour and they caught the show and they're really excited. I saw an interview with you where you kind of talked about being the opener and, and knowing that it's support or playing a role, right? But something like tonight, a walk through Ramona Park, very intentional, very much about you. Um, what is it different that we're getting tonight? For those that seen the tour, what, what's tonight going to bring? Oh, the tour? Yeah. You mean like Tyler Tour uh, opening Tyler in tour, general? Yeah, the Tyler Tour. The, yeah, like people seeing you perform the records opening for the Tyler Tour uh -huh. versus what we Oh, no, nah, I didn't perform that on the Tyler Tour. Well, now yet, because the label said that they didn't want to put it out before the tour because they was trying to hit a certain billboard number. Mm. <laughs> so I couldn't put it out. The business of it. Yeah, whatever the fuck that means. But yeah, man, like, <laughs> the Tyler Tour was cool. You know, the, um, the, um, what's the word? The white people will be more matriculated throughout the crowd. <laughs> this is a, this is a majority uh, Hispanic demographic and show. You know, we we have a majority Mexicans, a couple Southeast Asians. We got some niggas thrown in the mix, mm -hmm. and then you got some white people around there. You know, the dirty white people, the smart white people, rich white people. You know, what I mean, so it's gonna be a good balance of Hispanic, white, white adjacent. You know, what I mean, white identifying Hispanics. I think that's the big. You don't know about them? Absolutely. <laughs> like Torrance, you been in Torrance? I'm from the east side of Harlem. It's called nicknamed El Barrio. Yeah. You know what I mean, so I, I grew up in the mix, in the mix of that. But y'all, it's different. It's a little different. It is different a little different, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah it's. Yeah, y'all got like, y'all got some whole other shit going on. Yeah. <laughs> y'all got like, yeah, y'all got Mexicans like that. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Nah. No, we, nah, we, got, we, we definitely got, we got, got a big Mexican community. Nah, it's different, we though. We got the Mexicans. It's, 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 it's different, though. Y'all don't do it like us. We really do this Mexican. <laughs> yeah, <I> do this <laughs> Mexican we shit do out it, here. bro. We do it. Yeah. You ain't lying. We can't compete with yeah. that. Shout out all the Mexicans, man. We love you. Now, shout out to them. How, what's the energy, though? How, how have you felt since, like, announcing that you was going to do the show? Just randomly? I mean, I mean, yeah, you always appreciate getting in front of people doing the show, stuff like that. You know what I mean? We had like three, four days. So we did what we could do. Have you slept? <laughs> I always sleep, bro. You think hip hop keeping me up at night? No. Hell nah. Look, bro, I sleep early. I wake up. I go to my little Netflix writing room. We do that from 10 to 6. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I might do a little bit of yoga in the morning, you know, a little bit of Muay Thai, maybe. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You fucking with but the Muay Thai? Other than that, I, I love Muay Thai. Kicking niggas in they shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Just trying to make sure life is a beautiful experience. You know right. what I mean? This is hip hop, bro. It's easy. Like, you know, it's. It's a blessed position. We always talk mm -hmm. about that. You know what I mean? Like, we was talking about before you got up here, like, you coming from Long Beach and, like, the type of music you make. Rob from Brooklyn, I'm from Harlem. And the music doesn't sound far off from my experiences because it's like poverty is the same every fucking way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like listening to your music, shit, you bring us to, to, to your home. But at the same time, as we listening, we like, damn, this feel like some shit that would yeah. go down right here. It's like you know? different that you can appreciate in a familiar that, that, that it doesn't feel that far away. Nah, man, I nah, appreciate it, you know. Think about it, at the end of the day, man, they just songs. So they mean whatever you want them to mean. Mm. And that gives it, you know, its importance. Mm. You know what I mean? How, how uh, you, know, uh, you know, since touring, right, the mm -hmm. world, and just being able to see the world, mm -hmm. right? Um, and now looking at Ramona Park and looking at your neighborhood and looking where you come from, how has your relationship, if any, changed, you know, after you see the world and then you kind of look back home and do a project like this? Has, has it changed any? I mean, nah. I mean, I haven't looked at where I grew up different. I, moved, I went to Atlanta for a little bit when I was younger. I had to get out and, you know, get out the way. And when I came back home, it was like, it's nice over here. You know, people would be like, oh, man, I traveled the world and it changed how I seen this, blah, blah. It just mean they got closer to some white people. <laughs> it made them feel good about themselves. They got all jiggly and warm inside because they're like, oh, the white folks like me, you know, and the niggas come back home and want to be like, oh, man, we need to, you know, do better. But now nah, we doing just, that's fine, you know, what we got. You know, mm. people trying to survive, do what they got to do day to day. So you can't never hate on that or, you know, your circumstance, your circumstances. So, you know, I love where I grew up. You know, it's cool, you know. You know, a lot of people in Long Beach, you know, live above the poverty line in a blessed position now that circumstances don't let you figure that out. Mm. But, you know, we doing good. You know, the world is hard for a lot of people. So we was able to be, you know, in a in, 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 in a blessed position as far as, you know, it's Long Beach and it's quote unquote the hood. But, you know, you got more than certain people in surrounding cities. And, you know, you got to appreciate that. So I always appreciate it where I grew up at in the world. It just gave me, like, the opportunity to have some money. Like, that didn't change shit for me, man. Yeah. I was telling Rob also, like, before you got up here, we, we both agreed that you probably don't give a damn about something like this. But... I feel like your name should come up in more conversations when it comes in terms of like skilled rappers, right? Yeah, but what did that mean? All right, let me tell you what it means. Cause I remember one time I see you say, 
I'm probably one like top five thousand is some crazy shit, right? Oh, yeah, I was just fucking with head because head <laughs> love hip hop too much. Yeah, nah, you know, I love head too, but um, mm -hmm. <laughs> pause, right? But <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it, no, right? Man. But at the same time, like, I do, I do believe that, like, when it comes into a debate situation, right? Like, yeah, like I, I would like to see a name come up a little bit more because when I look at bodies of work, I don't think it's a lot of people that can fuck with you. Well, music don't matter, bro. Music ain't matter since the seventies, mm -hmm. so I get what you're saying, but like, what do that mean, like? Mm -hmm. We get consolation prizes because they don't give us shit. So niggas find, you know, join consolation prizes. Oh, I'm the hardest rapper out. So right. I'm that, nice. And what the fuck, do, and what that the fuck do that week. mean? I'm nice. What do it mean? I mean, all right, so look. What? I, you want to go to it? Cause, I, cause I just want to. My perspective, nah, my perspective is this, right? Now, I'm the person that used to stand, sit in the barbershop for two extra hours after I get a cut just arguing about right. fucking nothing, right? But <laughs> I'm happy you said right. that publicly. Right. That's a fact. Because right. a lot of people don't say that. Yeah, that's a fact. I, you know what I mean? I do that. I, I do that all the time. But it's like when it turn when, in terms of what I would like to argue about, because that that shit is just fun for us. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just it, it might not mean nothing in the grand scheme of things. No, it don't mean shit. But you know? this is how I look at music, bro. If you if if it matter if they love you, then it matter if they hate you. Right. So I don't. Because it's like we it's like we, we measuring stupid shit. It's like, oh man, he nice, he nice, he not. And they got the little you seen the little AR rapper moonwalking saying, nigga, yeah, mm -hmm. it's over with. Yeah, they got they got him the hell out of it. Yeah. No, they didn't, it's over with. Yeah. So <laughs> niggas better be nice to each other for we all at the Walgreens. Right. Cause it's over with. But we here right now, Amazon Music, sponsored by Coca Cola. <laughs> In a couple years we gonna studio. be uh we gonna be all AIs. They gonna right. get rid of me, you, Tim. But, right. but, it, but it, 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 it's hard to get rid of what's real, man. Hey, Tim, and, what you want your uh, your AI to look like? <laughs> he left. See, they already got rid of Tim. There you go. Tim gone. Bye, Tim. But yo, what what was real, man? And 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 I, I think we could feel it in the energy. I know you're about to take the stage soon. Mm -hmm. Is the love, right? And 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 those the base, those things that we're talking about, kind of are fleeting. But the way the, your music makes people feel, I think, is evident. Tonight, yeah, and, and, man. And, and but we gonna but feel it. This my thing, right? I care about the people in that room, yeah. And the people who say, well, you know, I appreciate everybody compliment, but it's like you gotta look at it like this, right, bro? That's why I look at it. So, in the grand scheme of all this shit, right? We have fan bases and demographics and all this other stuff. Magic was number ten, was top ten radio, rhythm radio, whatever that shit called, whole country, right? Who cares? It don't matter if you don't say nothing. It's all about posturing, pretending, and trying to make somebody feel like they're beneath you. Mm -hmm. And I ain't with all that. If you the best, somebody got to be the worst. If you better, mm -hmm. then who? Then we got to start marginalizing somebody else's shit and being like, oh, this dude's story don't matter. And we all supposed to be niggas from the hood, which not true. And you know that's not true. You know that's not true. <laughs> that's a fact. But we all niggas from the hood. We trying to come up. But like, why you got to be better than somebody that's supposed to be? That's trying to find the same way out as you. Right. And I feel that. Once I ask that question, like, what the fuck is we talking about? Like, niggas trying to be the best rapper? All right, for sure. What's your publishing split? <laughs> What's your touring deal? Right. 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 That's perspective. That's perspective. And, and, and I, I, pre I think every time, you know, this is my first time saying with you, but mm -hmm. even just watching your interviews, hearing your music, I, th I think we get perspective. I think we can walk away thinking about things differently than we thought about them before, re-examining oh, how important is this, what's really important. Um, yeah, so I, I appreciate you for the perspective. Man, look, you feel me? It's, it's about what matter to you. Stick to that, man. We here at the Fonda with Coca-Cola, Amazon Music, Rotation. We got Rob Martin. Man. We got Wayne on, man. Stop Let's go. playing, My man. God, man. A walk through Ramona Park. This is going to be a special show. I this can't is going to be special. Look, Amazon, y'all going to have to cut the cameras off when he get on stage because I'm and going just, downstairs. And just if we want to talk about some hip-hop shit, I spent more on the stage than this whole thing costs. Mm. I spent wow. more than I got. So... To act, tell them niggas to show you they touring budget. When we talking all this hip hop shit, man. Fuck all the hip hop shit. So we finna be AI. Run. <laughs> they trying to get you. Run. Run, chameleonaire. <laughs> right, we we laughing, but that's real shit. That's real that's perspective, respect, bro. brother. Yeah, brother. Nah. You gotta hit that stage, bro. It's always I good to see you, man. Always good to see you, my brother. For real, man. Run. 